Hi everyone, welcome back to Chilling with Chilly Sid. Um, as you can see, I'm doing a sauce review. Uh, a few weeks ago, we'd gone to Brighton Fiery Foods Festival and where we did um, a little chilli sauce testing and reaper eating with Aaron, Aaron Minter and his brother Matt. Um, on that same day, we, well rather I, on that same day I picked up some sauces. Now, I met an amazing guy, Pat from Pat and Pinky. The sauces that I bought were um, actually a collaboration with my son because he chose them. As you know, he has to choose them and then I will try and eat them. So we've got the Scorpion Maruga extra hot sauce that Pat talked about. So that's this one, a nice classic bottle there. It's a nice chunky bottle as well. It's um, 250 mils for your money. And then we've got an unknown chutney. Don't worry, I've got the ingredients for that. I'll tell you about that when I do it. Yes, the unknown chutney. Look at that. Whoa. I think Pat was trying to see if I had taste buds. And then we've also got the Weary Weary Dry Rub. Now, the, the chili that's indigenous to Guyana, where Pat is from, is the Weary Weary. And it's quite a nice sound, isn't it? The Weary Weary. It almost reminds me of what, like, um, Down Under. But obviously, it's not Down Under. So, um, let me tell you something about Pat. Um, obviously, he's created a company called Pat and Pinkies, and a lot of the sources are. I've got a helper now. Which side is this helper going to go? Can we come on this side, or are you going to sit on that? You want to be there? Okay, come and sit over here then. Let's say hi to Boo again. Sit down, Boo. Now it depends, yeah. Boo's like a bit flighty today. She's not feeling it. So if she decides to settle, fine. If she doesn't, you know what? You just got to let her be. So where was I? Yeah, Pat and Pinkies. So first of all. Um, they originated, well, well, he's from Guyana, and oh, oh, the natural native chili there is the Weary Weary. Now, it's quite funny because it sounds like Weary Weary, and I keep thinking Australia, but it's not in South America, near the Caribbean, yeah? So Guyana, lovely place down South America. I have never been, so I can't actually comment on it, but I can imagine it's near the Caribbean, it's going to be hot. They, they eat um, cucumber with everything. So every single thing they eat, Pat said, they put cucumber with, they bake with cucumber, they put it in their curries or whatever their cooked foods are, cucumber garnish and the other sauce that I didn't buy had cucumber in it but my son chose this one so that's the one I've got now so I think we'll start with let me see <coughs> sauce first I think okay sauce first so this is Pat and Pinky Scorpion Maru for extra hot sauce it's vegan friendly fantastic and it's a taste of Guyana down from the Caribbean okay so let's have a quick look at the bottle a nice 250 ml bottle it's just a simple label which I think is really effective just black simple label there we go and when we get round to here you might be able to see some of the ingredients and if you look at that pour it's actually quite a thick lush sauce it's not quite it's not runny it's thick and it's full jam-packed with ingredients yeah if you look at it there wow now it's a beautiful color nice brown color with lots of alive ingredients and they've got the flecks of red the green the black the pepper wow so here we go it says keep oh no let me have the ingredients ingredients the important bit so scorpion maruga extra hot sauce from pat and pinkies ingredients are water what did i say cucumber so water, cucumber, chilli, it's the Weary Weary Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. That's a mouthful if you have to say that on a night on the drinks. The Weary Weary Trinidad Maruga Scorpion, tiger teeth. I think tiger teeth might be the other chilli in it. 9.5% um, of that. Green mango, red pepper, mustard powder, lime juice, spring onion, tomato paste, onion, garlic, thyme, ginger, salt, celery, brown sugar, corn flour, acetic acid, which is your vinegar in there, um, paprika, black pepper, turmeric, for allergen C in bowl. Now, the only allergen on here is the mustard powder. So anybody who's got an allergy towards mustard or anything mustard related, keep away from this one. The rest of us, we can tuck in. Now, as I said, cucumber and everything. Now, I have never tasted a sauce. So just to get that off for a minute. I have never tasted a sauce with cucumber. I tried the other one, the really, really one. The original, um, the, the start of his company, the original sauce he made. And I tell you what, the first taste I had was like the cucumber and then the green mango. And it was fresh, absolutely fresh, yeah? And I thought, wow, this is amazing. So this one's got cucumber in it and it's hot. I think that's why my son picked it. Maruga scorpion, hot and obviously the really, really Maruga scorpion and cucumber. Now, here we go, gloopiness. 
it's quite a nice day, it's a bit windy today and I thought what better thing to do in the middle of my day than sauce review, so here I am, so a bit gloopy, nice brown sauce, just going to pour it and have a look, okay, let's do the aroma first, I think I'm going to be able to smell something in here, okay, it's not the first smell but there is a very fresh cucumbery scent to it, so the aroma is cucumbers, I can detect sugar, I can't detect a lot of the heat, but you've got spices in there. You can smell spices, yeah? I think it, did you say onions and garlic? A very faint onions and garlic. It's not overpowering the onions and garlic. Yeah, onions and garlic you can. A little bit of the um, cu cucumber, a bit of the acetic acid of the vinegar. Spices and guess what? It smells sugary, like like the caramelized sugar, that sort of flavour. So, nothing for you guys than to pour it and have a chai. It's a lovely consistency. Now, if I just do it, I'm trying not to. But can you guys see that? Yeah. Really nice consistency. Thick. And the colour isn't quite brown, it's almost like an orangey brown. I, I don't know what the what the term, what the name for that sort of colour is, but it's um I wouldn't say it's pure brown, it's more like a orange tinted brown. If there's a colour for that, please let me know. Okay, so and it's thick, nice consistency. Okay, I can smell the cucumbers, very freshly cucumbers. Nothing for it but gauge down my neck, yeah. Mm. Okay, there is a hit to it. There is a kick. It kind of the first taste, initial taste, obviously, cucumbers. Freshness of the cucumbers coming in and then mangoey. Um the heat is going right around my mouth, but it's not overpowering. It's not really, really hot that I can't eat it. I can still taste the mangoes coming through. I can still have the cucumbers and black pepper. Now oh I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna have to do it black pepper let me have a look mm -hmm. black pepper now things like turmeric and that add to the color but and the taste as well but you can't actually detect them too much so i think they'll be nicely blended in i could detect the mango so the cucumbers coming in next layer mango coming in the heat was there and the heat went to the back of my neck but the rest of my mouth isn't hot I, now the heat is there it's warm I said warm, not hot, not overpowering, but more the flavour of the sauce, the tanginess from the mango. Did it say lime on there as well? Yes, lime. The flavours of the cucumber. Oh my God, it's, it's an amazingly different type of taste. And you've got, um, I love my bits, as you know, I normally like the seeds in it. Bits of tiny, um, black pepper coming through, which is nice. So if you don't like black pepper, avoid this one. But I like chewing on things. So we've got seeds in there. Um, black pepper and it's completely truly a different type of sauce I've never had anything like it because I, I don't know about you but I've never had cucumber in a sauce and just putting the cucumber in elevates this whole sauce to a different level of freshness now let's see what they said about usage okay so it says once open eat within six consume within six weeks great as a marinade for veg fish meats cooking ingredient as a condiment shake well before use so because of the tangy flavour, you've got your mangoes in there, which adds to the acidity. You've got the limes, you've got the acetic acid or the vinegar. Um, Pat has recommended as a nice marinade. Now, that would be really good. The colour of it is really nice. So, when you marinate your meat, your fish, your vegetarian stuff, the colour will be really, really good in that. It will give you that authentic barbecue type taste and colour. Um, the other thing is dipping sauce. You can dip things in it, you can use it as a size um, for salads, pastas, all those things. I think cooking as well. Now I'm going to actually try and put cucumber in my curries and things because Pat said they put it in everything in the, in the Guyana. They put it in, in Guyana, they use it for all sorts of things. They cook with it, they put in the sauces, everything. So I really like that sauce. It's different in a way, not as hot. Now um, for heat, if you've never had chili, I would say um, if, you, if you're novice at it and you're starting, I would actually give it a seven or eight, maybe a bit more. There's more black peppery bits in there than the heat because the heat went to the back of my neck, 
and I could feel a little bit, but he subsided with the mango and the cucumber flavours coming through. So, and if you're used to chilies, this will probably be a zero or a one, but you know what? I want to try fresh really, really chilies because they've got a different um, hit to it. Thank you very much, Pat, for that one. Now, let me see. I'm going to try the unknown. Now, <laughs> this is a bizarre story, yeah? Went to the store, we picked this one. And Pat obviously said how lovely it was. It's a chutney, but guess what, guys? It had no nothing on it. So I thought, Pat's um, testing me. He's actually going to get me to guess. And coming from Guyana, I might obviously guess cucumber, but nothing else. I wouldn't have a clue. So we wrote to him, and he sent me the recipe. So this is actually... I'm just going to call it Pat and Pinky's Chutney. And first of all, it is a chutney. It's a nice brown thick jar. It's a lovely jar as well, because obviously in this day and age of recycling, that would be great for filling with something else or making your own chutneys. So a lovely colour. If you look in there, you can see all the ingredients. You can see seeds. It's rich. It's dark. It's thick. If I, if I tip it, it's quite thick. So it's quite a nice condiment. Um, now, so the ingredients next. So ingredients on a post-it note. This might surprise you. Now it's a chutney and it's hot. And guess what? We start off with strawberry. You heard it. It's got strawberries in it. I've never had a chutney with strawberries in it. And the next ingredient is even more baffling with, with chutneys. I mean, you've had it with chutneys, but not with this side. So let's go. Strawberry, aubergine, plum, apples, wiri wiri chilli, thyme, lavender, onion, garlic, tomato, spring onion and sweet pepper. Now, there's some names or things in there that I'm kind of thinking, oh, never thought of that. So I never thought of putting strawberries and aubergines together. Um, you obviously got herbs in there, but lavender as well. You can use lavender in cooking, but it's in this chutney, so it's going to be a real nice mix, isn't it? Let's just open it and have a look and sniff. Okay, I can see chunks. So if you look at that, have a look at that. It's got chunks in it. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lush, thick. Oh, wow. It's looking good. Right. I can smell the aubergines and, and a bit of heat chilli coming through. There's a sweetness as well. So that sweetness might be the um, strawberries and plums. Lavender as well. Maybe that unusual smell mixed with all the other things could be the lavender so let's have a look at the texture because i'm itching to try this one because um never, and i think the onions has it onions are in it is quite it is a proper chutney it's a proper pickle relish as you might call it but look at that now that is thick isn't it thick it's got chunks in it it's got onion um like segments right so I can hear the lavender's coming through now. There's, there's a hint of like floral, I'm assuming lavender. Oh wow, the rest of it smells divine. Boo wants to come up here, so let me just do this. Come here. Oh no, do you know what? She moans, gets my attention, and then teases and walks off. What can you do, eh? Nothing for it, guys. I'm just going to get it down my neck. Mm. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That, that, that is so different. It's not hot at all for me. It's, um, oh my God, it's not even like, there's no caramelisation of onion. I thought there might be like a caramelisation. It's fresh again. Strawberries, that's adding the freshness. Really fresh. Bits of bits of aubergine in there, bits of onion in there. It's got an unusual flavour, and I think that's to do with the lavender. Not had anything like that before either. So these tastes that are coming from Guyana are completely different to uh, me, sort of in England. Completely different because they're not like um, the Mr. Vicky's type ones that are more Asian flavours that I I understand or whatever. Absolutely different because lavender in there, and I know people use lavender in cooking, but. Not in the chutney, I've never seen it. I can I can still taste the lavender. It's not overpowering, it's not horrible, it's nice. It's um, oh, it's a lovely fragrance. Uh, you've got your aubergine coming in, you've got your strawberries in there, adding the freshness. Now, the heat-wise, you've got the really, really chilli in this one. 
and I can't actually taste any of the heat. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't any. So if you didn't eat chilies, this might have maybe three or four. For me, it's a zero, but it's a really nice condiment. Now, again, do you know what I would recommend this with? You know me, don't you? Nice pickle, nice condiment, cheese. Now, I haven't got any literature on here to say what, what you can have it with, but that one is nice on a cheese board, cheese platter, cheese board. Oh, you know, even if it can stretch out till Christmas, which it probably won't, it'd be great with silt and crackers. Bit of this, port, heaven. Yeah, that's all I can say. But um, apart from that, um, I don't think you could, obviously it's not a marinade and it's not one that you can put in um, in your casseroles and soups and stuff. I think more condiment, use it on the side, use it as a pickle, exactly as a pickle, relish. Um, you can dip in it, that'd be nice, but it's just different tastes. It's strawberries, aubergines, this one, cucumber. <laughs> Amazing, and the colours are similar, look. Okay, now the very last one, it's not a condiment, it's again from Pat and Pinkies, the Wee Wee Rub, okay? You try saying that really quickly, the woo woo rub, yeah, it's a lot of R's in there. Right, so this one, ingredients, it's a rub, so it's a powder. The ingredients are garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, ginger, broad, broad leaf thyme, fine leaf thyme, um, soul, hibiscus, black pepper, basil, woo woo chilli, there's 2.5% of that, cardamoms, cumin, tiger teeth chilli, coriander, cloves and nutmeg. That's the other thing. I've never had tiger teeth chilli, so I'm not sure where they are in, in, in the heat or flavour because I've not had the wee wee and I've not had the tiger teeth. So, something different again. So here, what's different? You've, all, you, you've got like um, herbs and things, but you've also got nutmeg and cardamom and coriander, black pepper, sort of like the Asian flavours, but you've also got like sorrel and hibiscus. So it's adding to a lovely rub. Now, I just hope it doesn't blow away in this wind. Let's just open it over here. See that rub there? Now you can see the actual bits in there. That looks divine, doesn't it? Now, um, I think let's just talk a bit about it. I'm not going to keep it open because the wind, putting it on anything that needs a rub, yeah? So I, I think it'd just be neat, really, and dry things. You can probably put it in veggie sausages and your vegetarian things as well. Okay. And um, powder like this, you don't just have to use on a rub. You can add it to your curries and your sauces, a bit like your dry spices that you do, like your turmeric and um, garam masala, etc. You can add it to your curries. And one other thing that we actually did was sweet corn. Yeah, we roasted some sweet corn, just stuck it under the grill, got it all golden brown, stuck some butter on it, salt, and we rubbed this on it. And I'll tell you what, it was divine. It was just like, I normally put chilli powder on it, just like boring chilli powder, but this was much nicer because it's had other flavours in it. And it elevates your sweet corn. So anything on the barbecue grill, if you put your skewers on, you can probably um, sprinkle with it or marinate with it, like maybe just as your vegetables are being chopped up, you can sprinkle this in it, rub it in, and then roast it. You know, you've got to be inventive because it's a different flavour. Now this is going to be a bit unusual in tasting. I've never done the powders before, well, apart from the little bit of reaper powder after the nut thing I did. Hmm, that's all I can say. Remember that, that moment, hmm. the scraping of the spoon in the bowl. But let's have a go. I'm going to try and mix it up first of all. I don't want to faff around with it too much because of the wind nature. It might be, it might end up in the cameraman's face. But look at that. You've got flex. The colour is divine. There's lots of herbs in there. Lots of flex. Wow, I can smell the cumin, coriander, cumin. Oh, wow, 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 wow. And there's uh, the floralness in there as well. There's something different, so that must be the hibiscus. Mm, 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 mm. There's nothing for it. Let's just have it. I'm going to need to do a bit of this because it's dry. Upside down on my tongue, I think. That's how to do it, yeah? It's got caked in one side. No, I'm going to have to put a bit more in. It all went down one side, so I'm just going to do it like this. Mmm. That's nice. Now, I don't eat meat, as you know, but I think that would add a real um, flavour to the meat if you rubbed it in. Um, what's coming through is it's like obviously you've got the asian flavor the coriander the nutmeg all those sort of things but then you've got like a floral from the hibiscus and then you've got the um garlic powder the onion powder nice base to it tiger teeth chilies as well 
Except I don't know which bit of the tiger teeth. No idea. But do you know what? These three products that I've bought, and I think I need to buy some more from Pat and Pinkies because they are completely different to what I've normally tried. Never had a sauce with cucumber. Never had a pickle or a condiment with strawberries and um, aubergines. And what else was in there? Um, lavender. You know, lavender in there. Um, and this rub as well. It's a mixture of like Asian flavours and Western flavours and it's just nice, you know? Uh, and again, um, what's the word, floralness in it, like hibiscus, which here we've got the lavender, here we've got, do we have anything floral in this one? Whether it did or didn't, they are completely different now. I love them. I, um, I'm gobsmacked because, you know, normally I can say a lot more. I'm gobsmacked because the flavours are so different to what I'm used to. Um, let's get that off my teeth. Okay, guys, so... So, Pat from Pat and Pinkies, thank you very much for creating these products for us, and they're amazing. So, guys out there, if you like any of the sauces and rubs, condiments, please do the usual, yeah? Order, 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 like, subscribe, right? Lots of comments. If I can't answer the comments, I'm sure I'll direct them to his Pat. And, you know, what? next time there's a chili show or something and you look down the list of all the um, vendors, if Pat and Pinky are there, please go down and try some of them. So you don't have to buy a big bottle, I'm not sure, be sure of it, but you can try it. And once you try it, you think, oh, that is so different. I'll try that, I'll buy that, yeah? So if you want to buy it without trying it, on my recommendations, please try it. Thank you very much for watching.